this is a review of the lessons I've posted this week. So we've got, we're going to run through squares, cubes and roots, factors, multiples and primes, and we're going to do some place value questions as well. So we're going to start with squares, cubes and roots. So we've got work out the value and we've got different questions. So three squared. So when we square a number, that means we're multiplying it by itself. So three squared means three times three. And that is nine. The square root is the opposite of squaring. So when we're asked for square root 100, what number multiplies by itself to make 100? That is 10. So the square root of 100 is 10. When we cube a number, we multiply by itself and multiply by itself again. So 4 cubed means 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is 64. And the cube root of 125, so the cube root is the opposite of cubing. What number cubed, what number multiplied by itself and multiplied by itself again makes 125? Well, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So the cube root of 125 is 5. Four questions for you to try here. Pause the video, give them a go and press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, 6 squared means 6 times 6, and 6 times 6 is 36. The square root of 81 means what number multiplied by itself makes 81, and that is 9, because 9 times 9 is 81. 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. And the cube root of 27 means what number cubed equals 27, and that is 3, because 3 times 3 makes 9, and 9 times 3 makes 27. In these questions, we're going to be using a calculator to work out our squares, cubes, and roots. So the first one, we've got negative 3.2 squared. And whenever we've got a negative number squared, we have to use brackets. If we don't use brackets, we will get the wrong answer. So we put our number inside the brackets, press the squared button, so negative 3.2 squared, press equals. I've got a fraction here, I'm going to get the decimal, so I'll press the S to D button, and that gives me 10.24. So 10.24. 10.24. Second question, we've got the square root of 361. So I'm going to press the square root button, and then inside the root, 361, press equals, and that's 19. So 19. 2.1 cubed. So 2.1 to the power of 3, this calculator has got a cube button. If you don't have a cube button, you can press the power button and write a 3 in the cubed. So 2.1 cubed. Again, I've got a fraction. I'm going to get the decimal by clicking the S to D button. And I've got 9.261. And finally, we've got the cube root of 512. So the cube root is shift square root on this calculator. So shift square root button, got a cube root and 512. And that is eight.
Okay, four questions again for you to try. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. So I've got minus 2.5 squared. So negative 2.5 inside the bracket. Press the squared button. And that gives us 6.25. The square root of 576 is 24. 4.1 cubed is 68.921, 68.921, and finally the cube root of 1.728 And that's 1.2. Okay, moving on. Factors, multiples, and primes. So we've got a list of numbers in this question. And from the list, write down for part A, a factor of 24. So factors, the factors of 24, are the numbers that multiply to make 24. So I'm actually going to list all the factors here. So a factor of 24. So what numbers multiply to make 24? That's 1 times 24. It's in the 2 times table. 2 times 12. It's in the 3 times table. 3 times 8. And the 4 times table. 4 times 6. It's not in the 5 times table. And so we're, we're up to 6. So that must be all of the options. So which number from the list is a factor of 24? 12 is on the list. So 12 must be the answer. Part B, we're looking for a multiple of 6. The multiples of 6 are all the numbers in the 6 times table. So the multiples of 6 will be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. The six times table. So which number from the six times table have we got here? On the list, we've got 12. So again, 12 is the answer. And the prime numbers. So a prime number has got exactly two factors. So it's only factors will be one in itself. So a prime number's got exactly two factors. So 10 is one times 10. It's also two times five. So it's not prime. 11 is only one times 11. So 11 is a prime number. 12 is one times 12. But it's also in the two times table in the three times table, so it's not prime. 13 is a prime number. It's only one times 13. And 14 is in the two times table, two times seven. And 15 is in the three times table, three times five. So 14 and 15 aren't prime. So the prime numbers are 11 and 13. Okay, question for you to try here. Pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to carry on. So the factors of 40 are the numbers that multiply to make 40. So we can have 1 and 40, 2 and 20, 4 and 10, 5 and 8. So which factor of 40 is on the list? That is 20. 20 is a factor of 40 because it's 2 times 20 makes 40. A multiple of 7, so a number in the 7 times table. So 7, 14, 21, and 21 
is on the list. It's a multiple of seven because it's in the seven times table. It's seven times three. And the prime numbers, so all the even ones are all in the two times table. So they are not prime. Uh, 21 is seven times three, as we've already mentioned. So that's not prime. And 17 and 19, they're only factors. We've only got two factors. 17 is only one times 17. And 19 is only one times 19. So they are the prime numbers. Okay, so moving on to place value, I'm not going to look at the same type of questions I did in the previous video. I'm going to look at multiplying and dividing by powers of 10 this time. So question one, 25 times 10. So if you imagine 25 is 20 and a 5. And if I multiply by 10, multiply both of these individually by 10, 20 times 10, if I've got 20 10 times, that's going to make 200. And if I've got 5 10 times, that makes 50. And what you can see when we multiply by 10, anything in the tens, so I had 2 in the tens, that's now going to become hundreds. It's going to shift one column up. And what I had in the ones, the five that I had in the ones becomes tens. So that shifts one column up. And that's going to happen to any, any number when we multiply by 10. So everything's going to shift one column up. So where I had 25 times 10, the 20 becomes 200. The five becomes 50. So I have to add the zero on the end. So I've got 250. It's the same thing for 2.3 times 10. So my two is going to become 20. It shifts the column up. My 0 0.3 becomes a three because it shifts one column up. So that leaves me with 23. For the next one, we're multiplying by 100. And multiplying by 100 is the same as multiplying by 10 twice. So instead of shifting one column up, they're going to shift two columns up. So my 5, if I multiply by 10, would be 50. And multiply by 10 again, becomes a 500. And my 0 0.7 multiplied by 10 is 7. Multiplied by 10 again is 70. So shifting two columns up, I get 570. Three questions for you to try here. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready to carry on. Okay, so I've got 470 multiplied by 10. My hundreds are going to become thousands. My tens are going to become hundreds. So that's 4,700. 0 0.51 multiplied by 10. So my 0 0.5 is going to become a 5. And my 0 0.01 will become a 0 0.1. So that's 5.1. 4.2 times 100. So we're times it by 10 twice. So we're going to get the 4 is going to become 40 if I multiply by 10 once, and 400 if I multiply by 10 twice, and the 0 0.2 will become 2, and then 20. So it's 420. Dividing by 10 is the opposite of times in by 10. So instead of shifting columns up, we're going to go columns backwards. So if I've got 20 plus 5, 20 divided by 10 
how many tens go into 20? That becomes 2. And 5 divided by 10. How many tens go into 5? Well, half, 0 0.5. So what's happened? They've shifted a column back. My tens have become ones. And my ones have become temps. So it's 2.5. Same thing for 8.3 divided by 10. We're going to shift a column back. So my ones are going to become temps. My temps are going to become hundredths. So that's 0 0.83 now. And 57 divided by 100. Dividing by 100 is the same as dividing by 10 twice. So my tens are going to become ones. And then they're going to become temps. So I'm going to have 0 0.57. My ones are going to become temps and then hundredths. Okay, pause the video, try these questions and press play when you're ready to carry on. Okay, so 470 divided by 10. So my 400 is going to become a 40. My 70 is going to become a 7. So that's 47. 4.9 divided by 10. My 4 is going to become a 0 0.4. And my 0 0.9 is going to become a 0 0.09. Which is 0 0.49. And 1.6 divided by 100. So we're dividing by 10 twice. So my 1 is going to become a 0 0.1, then it's going to become a 0 0.01. And my 0 0.6 will become a 0 0.06, then a 0 0.006. So I've got 0 Okay, so that's a week one review. Um, there's a maths grade, a week one assessment now available. So I'll put the link in the description. If you click on that, you can do a test to see how you're getting on with these topics.